Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toastin. Today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and today we're gonna cover the news and uh, the little updates that were added into the game. So basically the parameter quests are gonna be added uh, on Friday, so basically on Thursday after maintenance. So these things are actually easy and not so easy. Basically what you do, we're gonna take the example of the first one right here. Clear a quest with a unit with 14,000 total HP or more so basically you build up a unit with a lot of HP you do that quest and you get the reward so these things are finally going to be added into the game so that's really cool uh, it's going to give you a little bit more materia and all these stuff so that's pretty pretty damn cool then we're going to keep going with the Easter event so arm again this is really cool I like this pun but uh, we're going to be able to fight Mr. Exterminator right here so let's see what little Mog has to say the boss resists elementals, uh, elements other than lightning, so make sure you only do lightning damage to the boss. Be prepared by boosting your party's earth resistance and resistance to stone kupo. And don't forget to bring units which can remove status reduction kupo. So uh, hopefully they're going to make this boss a little bit harder than all the last bosses we have to fight. So uh, that could be actually pretty cool. And uh, this is going to be up on Friday. So the mission rewards. Basically, initial completion reward, you get a 5% Moogle, which is always good. Uh, complete the quest, you get Priceless Egg, which is a throwing weapon, Spirit 87, Earth Elemental, and enables uh, Golden Radiance, so it's for Sylvie only, boost LB gauge fill rate, so that's really good, since you're going to be able to cast your LB uh, a little bit more often. Then, you get get a chain of 8 or more in one turn. Uh, that's going to be pretty much easy to do, especially if you guys have Aster, because she's amazing. You're going to get the Asterisk uh, great, great Sword with Lightning Element on. Uh, 125 attack, it's a two-handed weapon, so that's really, really good, being a two-handed weapon as opposed to a one-handed weapon. And enable Static Body for Esther, basically boost her HP by 15%, which makes her a little bit more robust. So next time the Steel Castle Malfica comes, guys, uh, this is going to be a good sword basically boost up and even if you put that on the heal uh, that could be really really good since you're gonna be able to increase his range and damage then use white magic you get 10 lapis and uh, clear without an ally being KO you get another 10 lapis so these things right here probably is telling me that it's gonna be easy but hopefully I'm wrong and uh, exterminator is gonna be a little bit harder but this right here this is really good so I like this and I like this thank you thank you Gumi for this then we're gonna get Xenogears Part 2. Uh, so it took so long to get Xenogears Part 1 and now we actually have Part 2 right away. And the new featured units are gonna be Satan and Maria Xenogears right here. Not to mistake them with the regular Maria. So we're gonna go into their step up right here. Uh, yeah, don't forget you're gonna be able to get those tickets right here. So step up for uh, Maria and Satan. So the first one is gonna be 3000, you get a 5 plus 1. You get 5 King Metal Minotaurs maxed out, plus a guaranteed gold, which is not bad at all. Then on step 2, 4000 Lapis, you get a 7 plus 1 with a rare 7 ticket guaranteed in there. Step 3, 10 plus 1, a 4 star guaranteed ticket with a uh, gold crystal guaranteed. So basically here you don't get a guaranteed rainbow, which sucks a little bit, but hey, nonetheless, uh, you get the limited time ticket, then on step 4, 10 plus 1, still no rainbow guaranteed, but you get another ticket. And on step 5, uh, it's a 9 plus 2, so you're going to be guaranteed Satan or Maria, plus a gold, uh, gold crystal and a ticket. Which, I, you know what, I feel like this is underwhelming. Like, it's, I don't, I don't think, I don't think it's a good banner. This is really not good, so you basically only get one rainbow guaranteed. And at the end of all that, you get three tickets, and you need four tickets. So you have to go through all the step to go back to right here. So this re uh, this right here is uh, 15, 19, 22,000 Lapis. And basically, if you want to get that ticket, 22, you're looking at 25. You're looking at 29,000 Lapis just to basically get uh, either one or. Uh, which for me, I don't think it's that great. And uh, yeah, for me, I think it's going to be a skip on that because... With great units coming so uh, shortly, uh, for me this this is really a bad step up. And uh, especially with what Boomy said, uh, if you guys missed it uh, on their live stream 
uh yeah so that happened check it out on uh reddit i don't want to take too much time on that but basically uh they said something really stupid about content creators uh the wiki and everything don't want to go into detail if you guys want to go check it out go check out the uh, clicks video uh, it really explains it well and uh yeah so we're not gonna go into details i would gladly and strongly tell people not to summon to make them you know feel the disappointment in the community uh that would be the right thing to do but nonetheless let's go over satan let's see a super trust master it's a katana attack 176 enables sealed arts boost attack by 20 percent and boost physical and magic damage against human basically this in the jp version you're looking at 75 percent on killer abilities now things might change because we're on global it might be 50 percent uh might be 25 percent might be 35 percent i don't know what they're gonna do but until the unit is released, they might always change it. Then it's Trust Master, Multi Melee Master, boost attack by 30% when equipped with a fist or a katana, and boost equipment attack when a single weapon is equipped in both hands. This is actually not that bad. Uh, I'm not going to say anything about the unit, since I never actually played with it, or I don't have him on JP, but... It looks like a cool unit. The Super Trust Master is really nice. Uh, would have been good if it would have been a two-handed weapon, but nonetheless, Satan, we're gonna wait and see. Cause, uh, like I said, I'm not gonna say anything about the units because they might be subject to change. And uh, let's just go over their Trust Master and their Super Trust Master. Guardian of Shavat. That's for Maria. That's her Super Trust Master. It's a Materia boost MP and magic by 30%. Fill LB gauge every turn and boost magic by 30% when equipped with a rod. So that's really, really nice. And her trust master, Maria's goggles, defense plus 30, magic plus 52, and boost light resistance by 40%. Ooh, my throat is dry from talking. So basically, she's not that bad. Uh, she's able to break defense and spirit. She's able to boost her own magic and deal some good, strong damage so uh that's for the xenogear banners uh like i said i'm not this step up right here i find i find it sucks i'll just put it like that i find this step up really sucks and uh if i would tell you guys not to pull on it i would tell you guys not to pull on it and keep your lapis for future stuff and uh basically you know show gumi that uh the community is not happy with what they said and uh, all this good stuff so that's just my opinion on this one then we're gonna move in to this one right here. So we're gonna get a Xeno Gears login bonus round two. So log in every single day. Just make sure you open the game if you're, even if you're not playing, just to get the rewards. Uh, you're gonna be able to get a four star guaranteed ticket. We're gonna get some raid coins, uh, basically because there's gonna be a new raid event up with the uh, the Xeno Gears banner. Ex summon ticket, more tickets, more tickets, more tickets. A five plus one ticket and uh, more coins so that's gonna be for the login bonus for uh, round two of uh, Xenogears then story continues second season chapter seven part two so I'm not gonna go down here we're not gonna look at anything because this is really really good this story so on Friday this is gonna be added into the game and like I said before maintenance is gonna be on Thursday night so basically on Friday when you open the game it's gonna be ready now something funny normally they do uh maintenance on wednesday night so for me all the way up from wednesday night to thursday morning and now they're actually doing thursday to friday so maybe it's a way of them not showing uh people not being able to data mine the game and basically get the information on the characters but that's just my personal opinion on that other than that guys thank you so much for watching this video please leave a like for more uh, please leave a like for more. Please leave a like down below and subscribe for more from your boy. On that note, guys, have a wonderful day and I'm out. Peace.